but we're going to look at returning values from methods and this is very useful where you've got private variables in classes which means you cannot access those um, variables from outside the class and so you, you, you want to access them but for security reasons it's always better to have them private so the way to do it is to create a method and it's usually called a get method and the get method um, will return the, will return that variable and so if you call that method from outside the class it will return the variable from inside the class where you can't get access to that private variable and so it will return it and you will be calling it from a different class and it will return it to that different class which didn't have access to it and you'll be able to use that value and you also have a set method where the variable is private so you can't get access to it though you want to change the value in that method from a different class the value in that variable from a different class so you can't get access to it because it's private for security reasons so what you have is you have a set method in the class with a private variable and you call that set method the, the methods are public and so you call that set method and inside that set method it takes a value a parameter getting passed to it um, with the value that you want to change it to and it will it will say the, the private variable that you want to change equals whatever you've passed into that method and so when you run that method the value that you passed into it becomes the value of the variable the private variable and so through the method you've changed it from outside the class and so get and set methods are very important and so what we're it passing integers and strings and things like that to methods that's how you would do a set method and now we're going to look at we're going to look at um, returning values which would be the get method and so we've got a we've got a a method here and there's a keyword void and if you don't put void in a method um, C sharp does not like it and will will give you a warning saying that there's something wrong and the reason for that is the void is telling C sharp this is a method but it does not return anything it returns void it returns nothing what if a void is that's what it does with the return and <coughs> To return something, you've got to tell C sharp what type gets returned. So if you're returning a number, it's a float, of, uh, an integer. If you return a number with decimal points, it's a float, etc. If you return a string, then it's a string. And so you've got to tell um, C sharp this. And this void keyword would change to whatever you're going to return. So we're going to return an integer. The void becomes int. So now we're going to return an integer. This has been highlighted because once you once you don't have void as the return, it wants to return keywords and something to return and see how it's went all oh, stopped being highlighted because we have the return keyword returns a value when the method has run and completed and so we've just done a raw 22 so so that you can see uh, what we mean um, normally it would be like a, a variable um, but if we get it num1 then you wouldn't know what was inside it now you can see a number 22 and so what we're going to do is this is a static one so we don't use an object like this here um, what we've done was we created the path the path was let's see this is the first part of the path program 
dot and then we can go to that method and we'll give it brackets so that's us running that method and it's going to return 22 right but it's got nothing to it will return it though it's not going to assign it to anything um, so we've got to say like like this method this this method is the value returned is to become the value of an integer because it's an int so int num 4 equals what if it's returned from this method so this is going to end up 22 and so what we can do is we can do num4 print it out just to prove that's what's happened 22 and we'll change the number just again to to prove that's the case we'll do 112 112 so it's returned when you run that when you run, run when you run that um, method now what we've got here is name 2 and programming so what we can do is we can change this to a string and this is highlighted here because this is a string now and this is an integer so it's telling you there's something wrong the type you're returning is different from from what you've declared up here and they've got to be the same and so what we do is we type in name to the same as up here so we're going to return this here and it's going to say programming string it's still highlighted it so I don't know why it should be good it should be okay name to programming and so what we're going to do is return a string instead of an integer something wrong with it yeah what it is is this is a static method we didn't need to create an object and what we're doing here is as we've declared a, non st a, a string which is not static so it's got to be static it's got to be static to go into a static method and so if we run the program now I think that should return no string to end so uh, we've, we've done a string and this is saying that it's an integer and it's not an integer right what I'm going to do is put a string in here string Saying the same thing again. Um, yeah, I've, I've, I'm looking up here, and I should be looking down here. What what we've done here is, is we've still got an integer. We've run this program. Everything up here is correct. Um, we're running this program, and the first time we've done an integer, and I never changed this here to a string. It's got to be the right type, and so we'll do string four. We'll change this to string four. So everything will be okay now. So string has appeared. So now we should be able to access this variable two, and it was because we done a mistake down here. String int. I should have changed it. So if we do name to, it should print out programming, programming, and it's straightforward as that, and it may, may be that we don't need to do s static, I'm going to test, test it out. Yeah, it's, 
yeah see non-static non-static field method yeah you do have to have static if it's a static method that's only because it's a static method I've got here and so it wants a static it's got to be you can't have like an object these are objects and you can have more than one of them as many as you want but static you can only have one so inside the static you've got to have static just like you do with the main program in static and so so that's all you return and it would be the same with when it's not stat this is when it's not static and you would return the same way you would change the void to whatever you're going to return and then you would do the return and what you want to return and it wouldn't have to be static because these are objects these are not static they don't have the keyword static on them so that is return and that you you would use that for get and get methods